Hi everyone, in today's video, you will learn how to solve some problems involving the arithmetic means of the arithmetic sequence. Alright, so when we say arithmetic means, we are actually referring to the terms between uh, the first term and the last term, or between a sub 1 and a sub n. So if you have here the sequence a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, and a sub 5, and when we talk about arithmetic sequence, we are actually referring to the terms between a sub 1 and a sub 5. So these are the terms that we are referring to as the arithmetic means of this sequence. Alright? Let's have the first example. Insert three arithmetic means between negative 16 and negative 8. Alright, so we are to insert three arithmetic means between negative 16 and negative 8. Alright, so if we're going to have it here, negative 16... And then three arithmetic means and then uh, negative 8 all right so this gives us five terms in this sequence all right so the first thing that you need to do here is to solve for the common difference of this sequence and for you to solve that you need to use the formula a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Alright, so our a sub n, which is the last term actually, is negative 8. So this will give us negative 8 equals our first term is negative 16 plus, since there are 5 terms, then our n is 5 minus 1 times d, which is the unknown. So simplifying this, this will give us negative 8 plus 16, right? So if we transpose negative 16 to the left side, that will give us positive 16. 5 minus 1 is 4 times d. All right. Negative 8 plus 16, that will give us positive 8 equals 4d. And for us to solve for d, we divide both sides by 4. So 4d divided by 4 8 divided by 4 so that will give us d equals 2 all right now that we have the common difference all we have to do is to simply add 2 from the first term okay so if we're going to add 2 here plus 2 so 16 negative 16 plus 2 that will give us negative 14 right and if we're going to add 2 again this will give us negative 12. And if we're going to add 2 again, that will give us negative 10. And if we're going to add 2 again, that will give us negative 8, which is correct. Therefore, our answer is correct. And so, to summarize, our a sub 2 is negative 14, our a sub 3 is negative 12, and our a sub 4 is negative 10. These are the three arithmetic means between negative 16 and negative 8. Let's have another one. Find the arithmetic mean between 6 and 54. Alright, so we have... 6 and 54 so 6 and then between 54 okay so what is this arithmetic mean so that's our unknown okay so to solve for that we're going to use again the formula a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d in order for us to solve for the common difference all right, so we have the last term, which is 54, and we have the first term, which is 6, and since there are three terms, then our n is 3 minus 1 times d. So simplifying this, this will give us 54 minus 6, and 3 minus 1, it will give us 2d. 
right? In 54 minus 6, that will give us 48 equals 2D. And to solve for D, we divide both sides by 2. 48 divided by 2. And so we have D equals 24. 48 divided by 2 is 24. So this is the common difference. And so if we're going to add 24 uh, to 6, okay, plus 24, that will give us 30. And 30 plus 24 plus 24, that will give us 54, which shows that our answer is correct, okay? So the arithmetic mean between 6 and 54 is 30. Let's have the last one. Find the value of x if the arithmetic mean of 3 and 3x plus 5 is 8. Alright, so we are given of the arithmetic mean, which is 8, between 3 and 3x plus 5. So we have here 3x. Okay, let's start with 3. And we have here the arithmetic mean. And we have here 3x plus 5 okay so the arithmetic mean is 8 all right so what is the value of x so that's the problem okay so we can solve for x okay by using the formula a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d okay so a sub n, or the last term here is 3x plus 5. So 3x plus 5 equals our first term is 3 plus our n is 3 since there are 3 terms. So 3 minus 1 times the common difference which is 5 because 8 minus 3 is 5. Alright, so this will give us 3x plus 5 equals 3 plus 2 times 5 and so this will give us 3x equals 3 plus 10 minus 5 okay and so this will give us 3x equals 3 plus 10 is 13 minus 5 is 8 and so solving for x this will give us x equals 8 over 3 okay so i simply divided both sides by 3 so that will give us x equals 8 over 3. Alright. So to check, okay, if we're going to substitute uh, the value of x uh, to 3x plus 5, so that will give us 3 times 8 over 3 plus 5. Alright. And so this will give us. 8 plus 5 which is 13 so this is 13 and 8 plus 5 8 plus 5 is actually 13 okay so our answer is correct